Well, right now we're going to hop, skip, and jump from Italy all the way over to Asia. Except truth is, I think we just need the hop and the skip, because the place we're going to is, well, it's kind of right next door. <laughs> that was easy. That's right, we're staying right here in southwest Detroit to enjoy some incredible creations from Southeast Asia. Flowers of Vietnam is the culinary brainchild of Chef George Azar. He's a homegrown Southwest Detroiter who traveled the world, honed his craft, and then brought his experiences and his passion back to the neighborhood where he grew up. Why is this place being talked about by official food folks from far and wide? Well, hungry minds want to know, and minds starved. Now let me know if I got this right. You've worked in some of the best restaurants around the world, You've been honored by the James Beard Foundation. When Anthony Bourdain came to town, he picked you as his fixer. Yeah. And to top it all off, you've been named, this restaurant's been named one of the best new restaurants in the world by Bon Appetit and by GQ. In the country. In the country. In the country. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but what I'm getting to is, dude, you're a rock star. I mean, did you ever think this would happen to you? Never. When did food find its way into your life, though? is a passion. Man, I, I mean, I was the fat kid when I was growing up. So it's like, how could, <laughs> it's like, how could you, how could it not, you know, it's funny because I even tell like, um, like cooks that I'm trying to like mold that like, if you're ever like cooking something and you're stuck, yeah. like just ask the inner fat kid in you, what should you do? And you will definitely make, end up making that right decision. Well, with your rep, you could, you could literally go anywhere in the world and cook and be a chef and be successful, I think. Why, you're from this neighborhood? Yeah. So what brought you back home? Um, one is just, I'd go work and come back, go work, come back. I noticed that uh, like throughout the years of working in other countries or cities, and I'm like, I performed the best when I was comfortable. Um, you know, so that's why I uh, ultimately decided to like start a business in where I grew up. What made you gravitate to Vietnamese food? Uh, I, Vietnamese food very much so isn't boring to eat when you're eating it. Um, right. And when I, when I realized when I went to Vietnam, I started asking like elders like about the cu like cuisine and like the foundations and, and whatnot. And they literally told me, they're like, hey, we don't want to be bored when we eat. So we want every flavor profile to the max but in balance, like we want salty, sweet, bitter, spicy, all at once. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that made sense because that's why I love it is because I'm not bored when I eat it. Like I, you know. Well, for people that aren't familiar with the flavor profiles, mm -hmm. how would you describe Vietnamese food? What's the unique thing about being Party in your mouth. <laughs> that says it all. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know how else to, I, I don't even know why I said that, but it's like, okay, it's But it's funny. true. It is, really is though, it's like you're, you will, you will always be, there's a lot going on in everybody. When I came here with my daughter and her boyfriend, we sat, my wife and I sat down and every dish we tried, I mean, we tried a lot of them, we, we were laughing afterwards. It's just <laughs> like, this is so That's probably awesome. honestly the best compliment I've had in a long time because we don't sell anything really tangible, but like, but like a feeling, like a golden sensation. Like, yeah. so when you laughed after, that's like, that's exactly the best compliment I could ever have. Oh, I'm glad I could help. Do no, my, do my small head. part. Hit that on the head. <laughs> this is one of those places where you feel cooler just by being here. And the food is so good, you'll look even cooler consuming it. So if you want your next meal to be an experience that's fraught with flavor, pull up a chair at Flowers of Vietnam. I guarantee you'll be talking about this meal until you have it again.